everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing BYND. This was the golden gap of the month for the month of June. 110,250 advanced trader risk. I'm going to go over all of the trades. This really was just an amazing stock to trade in the month of June. I mean, this whole month, it had train after train after train. And again, these are options trades that we're going to go over here. But what a phenomenal month for this stock. You can always watch me on Fox Business and Fox News. And if you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at the stock .com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So I like to focus on one ticker symbol a day. I mean, I usually focus on, you know, more than one a month. But I mean, in this month of June, if you did nothing but trade every good setup in this BYND, you had a huge, huge month. And so it's indicative, again, of the confirmation of everything that I teach, which is that you only need one good stock, one good trade, one good gap, one good setup, okay? and one strategy, which is all that I do. One strategy, all of these trades that I'm gonna go over that I called in the BYND, all of them were based on my golden gap system. That's it, that's all that you need. I rate the gap, if it rates well, we do it. And it's about the focus too. So how do you make money trading gaps? Momentum, but you gotta get in the right direction. And in the case here, BYND, most of them were calls, uh, but there was a put. And we will go over that as well. So the very first trade was the day after the earnings, Friday the 7th, late, <clears throat> late, late trade. I called the 138 calls expiring 614. Okay, this was, I'm gonna go back here, hold on. This day here. Here's the sixth, here's the seventh. <clears throat> so the stock closed here, gapped up, rally. But I called this late. C227. Cost was $7. 10 contracts cost seven grand. Sold 12. This is on that particular Friday. Profit was 5,000. Return on investment, 71%. Then the same trade did again because I sent out a message to retake it a second time, which I'll show you in a minute, that it had moved somewhat. Cost $9, eight contracts for 7,200 sold 35 bucks on the Monday. So this was taking it Friday, holding it Monday, profit 20,800, 289% move. And again, I'm gonna show you this in a minute in the chart. And this is where I put that note. And you could book the first one or retake the first one. That was the first trade, the 138s. Then again, 310, same day the Friday, I called the 141s, because it was moving, okay? Thinking to take that one and hold it. Cost of this one, this is the 141s. This is a third one trade then in the BYND, 880. 10 contracts, risk 8,800. Sold at 35 on the Monday, profit 26,200. Return investment 298%. Really nice move. Then on Monday, called another one, 150s, 621. Early in the morning where I saw it gapping, knew the other one's gonna be up and then called a higher strike out farther, even though it didn't really need it. Cost was 14, five contracts was seven grand, sold 29, profit 15,000. Beautiful, beautiful trade. 214% return on investment. Then again, same day on the Monday as it was going, <clears throat> it was running, running, running. 160 calls, I called 614. They cost 14.40, five contracts, 7,200, sold 22, profit 3,800, 53%. This is all on that Monday. The second day then, okay? I also called the late one, well not late, but lunch, 180 strike, which it was profitable actually if you got out that day a little bit, 614. Cost 15 for contract, 6,000. Sold at one because this didn't go. The next day it gapped down, failed. Profit, was no profit, this was a loss. This is the only loss in this so far, this whole month. All the rest of the trades worked. So here's what it did. <clears throat> Close here, gapped up, rally. Gapped up again the Monday, rallied, and then here's where it gapped down this day, so then the 180s did not play out. Okay, well that wasn't it. Then called on Monday the 17th, two more, 
162.50s and 165. Again, this is the BYND. So this was $10, cost of 7,000 for seven, sold 30, profit 14,000, return investment 200%. Then the other strike again was the higher one, 13, six contracts, risk 7,800, sold 30, 10,200, return investment 130%. And here's what this did. So again, this had this move, and I'm gonna go back here, time of the day, what did I call that? Uh, it was pre-market, yeah. I called it in the pre-market on that 17th. So it was here in the morning, called it, and then it went like that. Next day, she took it in one day, got out the next day. Then I also bought another one. It was just like over and over. I called the puts, the 152.50 puts. So this was the put in this, the only put, and this worked, called it here, fell. $11, contract seven, risk 7,700, sold 16.50, profit 38.50, return investment 50%. Uh, just another beautiful trade in this stock. And that's what it did. And then it started to move again, up. Then called the BYNDs, 157.50, expired 6.28. And again, notes here for people to know what to do with this. 350 was a cost, 20 contracts, seven grand cost. Sold eight, profit 9,000, return investment 128%, really nice move. And then here you see this, and then it popped. The 160s, 628.19. This followed through then. Actually, to be honest with you, this followed through up until Friday. I don't know if anybody actually, no, one person did keep it till Friday, that's right. One person did actually keep this till Friday. I, I, you know, I mean, it, it just had a, it had a move then that carried through from Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. Uh, cost was $3, contracts 20, risk 6,000, sold seven, profit 8,000. Return investment 133%. So this, actually, you could have played until the very last day. I don't say that all the time with some, but if it's well through the strike, which this was, you can hold them if you want to. So let's go through all of the trades for the month of June. This is total. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the one loser, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 trades in BYND. What? I mean, it's just, you know. Honestly, I mean, you will get to the point where once you're doing this, I don't think there's anything that ever ends up surprising you about trading in the market. Like, I could say, well, I was surprised that this had so many great trades, but then again, not really. It was a new issue. I can't remember the last time something moved so quick, so fast, and had so much volatility in it, but that made such tremendous playthrough if you know how to play in the right direction, which I do, and I did, and we all did, and so many people made a lot of money in this stock in the month of June. It was just every trade worked except for one. So BYND total, advanced trader, 110250 You saw all the risk. You saw the return investment. You could have risked less. But either way, they were profitable trades. Just a huge move in this stock in all directions, but mostly was to the upside. The one put, but really um, such such nice moves in this stock. It was really, really fun to do. Anyways, 110,250 in one stock in one month. So you could have just traded the stock in the month of June and done nothing else. How many people make that much money in one stock in a month? Not that many that are actual just independent day traders. So it was a really, really beautiful move. And when you look at the risk, really compared to the profit, um, you know, it was tremendous. So you say, wow, that's totally, totally doable. <clears throat> and if you can't risk an advanced risk, you could divide it by half, divide it by 10. Whatever you could have done here, it was profitable. However you did it, if, even if you took one contract of every one of these. It's about working for yourself, which equals freedom. It's not just controlling your own destiny with the money that you make, like something like this to have a month like this, but in one stock, but it also has to do with the fact that you decide what you want to do. You decide the hours you want to work. You decide the strategy. And for me, it's only one strategy. It's the golden gap. And it's great to work from home. In the summertime, it's really convenient. So the, my process is I get up in the AM and I rate the gap using the golden gap checklist. I go through and I rate it. And if it totals 20 points or more per the 26 point system, then I call the trade as an option or a day trade or both. But in this case here, these were options. I teach a class if you wanna learn my method once a month. 
Next class is July 13th and 14th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Sign up really to secure your spot. The annual subscription for the newsletter is $49.99 a year. Trades are emailed to you. Again, five grand for the year and totally worth it. I mean, look at these trades for this last month. So if you're interested, sign up. Do not delay or you'll miss the next trade. I'm gonna call it some huge trades this year. I'm really proud of myself. I've had a great eye. We hit it, hit it, hit it on this. Everyone was a winner but one and we'll see what this stock does in the next month of July because I'm definitely watching it and I'm on top of it and um, it's been a fun one. So email me if you're interested in signing up, if you're interested in signing up for the class or the letter. And if you have any questions, email me too. Have a great day, everyone.